welcome to the history of Mock the Week Part 1, where we go all the way back to the very beginning. Hope you enjoy it. OK, answer is 50 nights. What is the question? Is it uh, how much of a start was Stephen Hawking giving it this year's London Marathon? <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Is it how many light shifts would you have to do at B and Q before you came to dismiss life as a grotesque pantomime? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how long would it take Nick Park to film a Wallace and Gromit porno? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Only working at night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the number of nights that Michael Jackson was going to play the O2 Arena? It is, of course, absolutely. Thank you very much, Danny. <laughs> it's news that the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, is dead. The 50-year-old star died suddenly following a cardiac arrest and was just weeks away from his This Is It tour in London. His death has left millions of fans in mourning. <laughs> One devastated fan said, I was at Disneyland when I heard he died. I didn't want to believe it. It was only when Mickey Mouse confirmed <laughs> it to me. That I accepted it. <laughs> I mean, what black man can produce three white kids? It's amazing. <laughs> Frank, you've got a better chance of being that, their dad than Michael. Wow. Well, You're right, right though, Jim. If that is the case, they're in real trouble. Well, yeah. <laughs> a choice between Michael and Frankie. Sorry, kids, a bit of a change of location for you. You're going to live with Uncle Frankie now. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Jackson? <laughs> it's all got to be up from there, hasn't it? <laughs> you know, they said they'd had thousands of volunteers to be pallbearers at Michael Jackson's funeral. I bet they'd... Where were they when Barry White died? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the weirdest thing about Michael Jackson? I didn't even know this. He was a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, the least weird thing about him. <laughs> I, bet, I bet when he went to the Jehovah's Witness meetings, they pretended not to be in. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, turn the telly down! <laughs> um, there's just a small note from the Fucking desk dead. that I get into my ear. Um, <laughs> Frankie, <laughs> uh, Hugh, <laughs> if we could have stuff which we actually can broadcast... <laughs> uh, <that> would... <laughs> Nobody mentioned that. That should, be, that should be the anti-speeding advert. It should be footage of Richard Hammond trying to remember his own wedding day. <laughs> Or was it red? <laughs> Am I married? <laughs> well, I think like an oblique reference to him. There's a line in the sand, right? And you can't even Frankie see just, the line yeah. in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> the way you three, particularly like that, they look like the evolution of man. <laughs> they could be walking like that. We'll have to turn that way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are apparently in the middle of a countryside <laughs> crime wave. Have you seen that? Some bloke sold rhubarb from an allotment. You have to tag it. Just imagine. Well, tag it. But imagine the phone call. Just some deranged. They've taken it. It's gone. <laughs> My prize went in Marrow. Is there no God? You have. <laughs> surely you surely have could just put so... rhubarb down his sleeves well, and then go. You can't ever feel sorry for the... That is the lowest rung but, of criminality, but, isn't but it? Has they, has they, has they finished? Finish. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I'm going to kill myself here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh! Beautiful. Vintage Mock the Week. He brought up the subject yeah, just so someone else could do a joke on yeah, it. Yeah. Surely he might have been working oh, towards sorry. a punchline. You <laughs> <laughs> ignorant... <laughs> Get a higher chair for the joke umpire. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling the Microsoft paperclip's taking some cocaine. But... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's that great. Little animation of the paper go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, yes. <laughs> That's a really good letter. Uh, okay. The point I was going to make is um, surely, right, <laughs> fellas, <laughs> but surely if you're a bank robber, you're sexy, you're dangerous, you can get diamonds for your lover. If you're still from allotments, what hope have you got, you know? <laughs> You've got dirt underneath your fingernails. All you have to offer is broccoli. Uh, you know? <laughs> hey, a woman who's going to have sex for broccoli is going to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if a 
Well, one of the reasons they healthy. were trying to steal... Wouldn't that be... Hang on, sorry to interrupt you, Andy, but wouldn't that be the... <laughs> that... <laughs> no, I I, I, I wish you go on the record and say, I have now lost control. Uh, <laughs> it's saying, weren't they, that Hurricane Katrina was jumped down to... I'll start that again. <laughs> what was that? I've got goo. I've got goo all over my face. <laughs> what? Not the first time either. Don't say that, mate. Ding, ding. <laughs> Do you think I look like Piers Brosnan with a mouthful of sweets? <laughs> yeah. End the week that Osama bin Laden released. Ah, for yeah. fuck's sake! <laughs> More of that later. Mock the week. <laughs> I foiled him Who by throwing throws... a banana at him. Who throws a banana at somebody? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's all kind of knocked on from America, isn't it? The, the problem it is, essentially, there. yeah. Because there's two companies that are in trouble. There was an amazing headline the other day that said, Fannie Mae in trouble. The, the two largest Hang financial on. institutions in America are Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They're but shorthand the is... for the Federal National Mortgage Corporation and the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation. When I read the headline, Fannie Mae Collapse, I thought Kerry Katona was pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, can that giant man lift me up like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you bet your asses down. <laughs> OK, that leaves me with Andy and Frankie. Let's have another topic. The topic is Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I have this covered. <laughs> Is that your image of Scotland? <laughs> you know that that's three English blokes at a wedding? <laughs> Do you remember years ago when they were making Braveheart, everyone said, oh, it's ridiculous, Mel Gibson playing a Scottish guy. That's not going to be very convincing. And look at him now, an alcoholic racist. <laughs> The most Scottish thing I've ever seen. I was going through a town called Bathgate at about half past 11 at night, and there was a guy pissing <laughs> against the front door. <laughs> he then took out his keys and went inside. <laughs> <laughs> On travel news uh, of the of the greatest travel story of the week was Tina the tortoise. Uh, Tina the tortoise <laughs> lost a leg, so they attached uh, a rear wheel to the back of Tina's shell. To be honest, it's going to make fuck all difference uh. to that tortoise. <laughs> So Dave doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Barely moves anyway. They're going to put it in a box at Christmas and it'll die. Thank you. Thank you, Frankie, for steamrolling our gentle whimsy there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for taking our sweet little commentary about <laughs> Tina and how this has changed her life and just going, Tina will die like the rest of us. <laughs> Tortoises don't hibernate, they live to one. <laughs> Basically, it's what I've discovered. Really? Well, they're just going by Blue Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean, though? If one of the parents accidentally Tina dies, right? <laughs> do they have to go to a pet shop, yeah. buy a similar looking tortoise, <laughs> get rid of the yeah. leg, <laughs> stick another wheel in the corner? Just get a show pet next season, right? Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you it'll die in the middle of episode one. <laughs> Miss Fat Ankle 2006. <laughs> <laughs> I love you lots. Oh, let's see what Mr. Tiddles thinks of you. What do you think? Die, bitch! <laughs> ah. <laughs> what is amnesia? Is it A, memory loss? A, Memory loss, <laughs> or for the Battle of Hastings. Welcome to my Dalek poetry reading. 
<laughs> this one is called daffodils. <laughs> What is amnesia? Is it A, <laughs> memory loss? The question everyone wants is, get your foot out, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 go for it. Adam, have you ever put beer in your foot and drunk out of it? <laughs> yes. <No>? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you, Adam, for what could have ascended into freak show territory, but you <laughs> held it together with an enormous amount of dignity, as we basically said, show us the weird thing! Show us the, weird thing. <laughs> the next topic is things that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Ignore the banging! She's been in there for 24 years! <laughs> Help yourself to Nibbles. He was our favourite hamster, but it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Sure, this is pork. But it's just because Mike Crackling has a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we don't say grace. We just sacrifice a child to the great god Imhotep. <laughs> <laughs> Doorbell! Excellent, that'll be Heather Mills and James Blunt. Opie's brought his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody's allergic to nuts, because I like to rest mine on the table. <laughs> This is absolutely lovely. I say we all raise a glass to the floor! <laughs> <laughs> Ten of you arrived, only one will leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, after about two hours, you couldn't tell what was poo and what was chocolate. <laughs> There is a vegetarian option. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we can put that in the middle. Guys, what are we doing making a Christmas album when we could clean up with a calendar? October. Is that is that Daryl looting hay bales in October? Give up the nipple. No. You don't show yeah. the nipple. That's the duty. You've got to hold that back. I'll let free. you have a secret. I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> do it some more. Do it some more. Anti clockwise, anti clockwise. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, January, <laughs> Betsy. <laughs> Where will you be? Will you be like, you know, sitting behind a piano or something? Or maybe, you know, what? Put I'll be on top of the piano like the fabulous Baker boys. <laughs> Yeah. That's <laughs> I, I see. I see Dara as a as a sort of a farm hand. Just, just <laughs> logs everywhere. Just loads of girls go. Yeah. Oh, it could be very artistic. It could be very artistic. It could be like uh, Munch's the Scream, and it's just you completely <laughs> naked. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. <laughs> In a kind of a, is that my cock out? Oh! <laughs> Here, on a bridge in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, <Okay>. everybody. <laughs> To replay of it. it was a lovely moment. I think you. I, I just remembered something. But show uh, them what, what you did. It was I fantastic. Went, you went. Okay. And then went like that, and you were all talking. <laughs> Why well, I do that kind of thing yeah, the whole time? That's entirely me. Do it again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bath time arse disaster. <laughs> yes. Again, another yes. video. I have to say the answer I was looking for was bath time arse disaster. <laughs> you suppose a flu buddy that you've got to pair up with somebody and they'll deliver the injection to you if if, if needs be. Exactly, right? but yeah. if it was my mates, they'd just pop a bit of Viagra in or something like that. Yeah, you're gonna die, have some donuts, have some fun. Sling <laughs> it on yourself, see how, you can get. Donuts? see how many you can Donuts? With Viagra? What the hell are you doing? Well, <laughs> you, you're so I'll be there, I'm, I'm nearly dying, and I'm flinging them gently on. Ring donuts, not jam donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, a beast. But we're them. <laughs> Please. 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 It's how it's done. Because I'm nearly dead, Frankie. Can I not have some fun? Find that woman, leave the pastries alone. 
Next topic is <laughs> things you wouldn't hear on Songs of Praise. Hello, Canterbury. Let's make some fucking noise. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's any number of these. The Labour leader Ed Miller Band has complained previously that he's been referred to on the subtitling as the Ed Miller Band. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers were so surprised to see that the famous religious leader visiting a local town was, in fact, the Arch Bitch of Canterbury. <laughs> <It's, it's>, ooh, <laughs> call this a church? I don't think so. <laughs> I saw that one come up. <laughs> oh. This is a power move, plunging. Like, look how you feel now. We're kind of having an argument. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> I used to farm cats, and let me tell you, their eggs don't taste nearly as chocolatey as they look. <laughs> This will never work, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, John's you know story struck me during the week. This, you, may, you may not have seen one. It was a story in Ireland in the Evening Herald in Dublin last week. And it's got a, quite a moving story. It's about Alzheimer's disease. Oh. Uh, it was, yeah. And the story basically was being a big head may be good for you. Scientists found that large-headed individuals with Alzheimer's have better memory and thinking skills than sufferers with small heads. All of which is, is quite interesting. You see, the next paragraph I found difficult to take. People with larger than average heads, like comedians... <laughs> To be, appear to be better protected if they develop Alzheimer's disease, as studies suggest. Now, that would be all right if it wasn't for that. Like, the article actually came with a giant photograph of me <laughs> next to the article. <laughs> under the word big head that protected me as Alzheimer's. <laughs> written underneath that, written underneath that was Extra large, colon. <laughs> Report is good news for Dara <laughs> Maria. No, it's not. It's not good news, cos I suddenly realise I've got a big head of hair. What do you mean you've sorry Dara? you Dara, protect us from the Alzheimer's. <laughs> In Canada, I did some modeling. It was for medical, it was for a <laughs> penile dysfunction. It was a before and after picture. <laughs> this is true. I, 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 get I didn't model. I don't model for big head. <laughs> I don't regard myself as having a large head. I don't have difficulty buying hats. Uh, I don't have difficulty getting into jumpers. Uh, it is. My Sorry. head doesn't cost me no. When did those three guys get here? <laughs> Look at me. I'm going to take you to a hall of mirrors and show you how you should look. <laughs> <laughs> the kid from Manas. You see, look at that. It's yeah. fine. Your, your head is absolutely enormous. In fact, <laughs> on a normal size head, that would be a full head of hair. It's <laughs> <laughs> in context how big it is, Dara. It has its own gravitational field. It's pulled in an entire planet behind it. <laughs> straight when we started. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting sympathy. That's why I introduced yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. 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 What I did was I said something about... First... I revealed a weakness in front of six comedians, and I thought, there's a group that'll help me through this. <laughs> I, I think of you all as friends. I don't think of you as comedians. <laughs> I saw one of the women interviewed from the site, and she said, putting a traveller in a house is like putting a traveller in a prison. But yet they're building them. <laughs> you put a traveller in a lodge. <laughs> yeah. What is that character? <laughs> Sounds like one of the terror hawks. Leave me alone! They're always claiming it's You've mysterious. You've gone so many different countries with an accent as well. <laughs> Welsh, French... What do you think? <laughs> Did you hear the woman? She went, I put a curse on you, I put a curse! She did. They're always giving it the curse. She did, not they? The minute it kicks off, I put a curse on you. Oh, in that case, we'll leave it then. You stay where you're lying. <laughs> 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 
now everybody watching this has got their remote control going, there's something wrong with the sound. <laughs> The answer is chickens, nurses and rain. What is the question? Is it, what does Heston Blumenthal put in a trifle? <laughs> is it, name three things... <laughs> <laughs> is it, what are the most used sound effects in the radio drama... <laughs> ..Monsoon <laughs> Poultry Hospital? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why are all the actors yeah. Scottish in Monsoon Poultry Hospital? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Doctor, uh, doctor, I think this chicken is drowning. Yeah. <laughs> is it all the things that my grand says are stealing her money when I go and visit her <laughs> in the car? <laughs> is it? Okay. Is it, okay. Uh, okay. Is it, is it <laughs> what are the opening stage directions <laughs> in the television drama <laughs> Monsoon Poultry <laughs> Hospital? <laughs> Chickens, nurses, rain, a man walks through the fog. <laughs> what is the hospital I'm working in now, is it? <laughs> what was the name of Foghorn Leghorn's controversial early career porn film? <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to do more chicken than <laughs> possible. <laughs> clear uh, bark! <laughs> clear bark! <laughs> clear bark! We've lost him! Uh, we've lost him! <laughs> That's finishing off the chicken at the end. Doctor, doctor, get me the beaster. <laughs> so, and, and we just, so I'm part of a film investment scheme. I put all my savings into the big budget production of Monsoon Poultry Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's right. Well, well, you're involved as well. I mean, because I play the role of Morag the nurse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're going to make a lot of money back. It's, uh, yeah, it's me and Does you that say, uh, are yeah. involved. Does yeah. Alfred Hitchcock? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to well. know where the budget for this show goes. I want to know, by the way, how well I look as a nurse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly fitting. Big shoulders. You've got, uh, you've got a hint to the reader's wives about no, you. Yeah. I'm delighted. <laughs> If you, if you turned up at my bed in yeah. a hospital, I'd <laughs> discharge myself. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have no surprise, no doubt. You'd discharge yourself. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite Olympic torch story, by the way, is this week the Olympic torch was brought on the raft to the slalom course. What brilliant plan is this? Right, one second later, there's the Olympic torch. <laughs> What's weird about the Olympic torch, though, is it's having this incredibly exciting time. It's been on a zip wire in Newcastle, it's been sailing, it's been white water rafting. It's like it's got some sort of deal with the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> 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 it's like uh, it's as if it's as if somebody's stag do or something, isn't it? Taking the Olympic torch, white water rafting. I'm amazed it was left in the booth of a lap dancing club. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many of my umbrellas. <laughs> My favourite story during the week of the procession of the torch and the endless procession of the torch uh, is Jill Mackinson Sanders, who's the mayor of a town called Loudoun, Lincolnshire, who decided, as the torch was passing through her town, to dress up as one of the local products of the town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire. The town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire, apparently, is famous for its sausages. Here's how she tried to dress up to welcome the torch. <laughs> And she ran alongside the torch, <laughs> ran alongside it as a giant penis <laughs> down the street screaming. It's not you. It does not look like me. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, nothing in my face. Nice. My yeah. arms do not start above my chin. <laughs> no, let's for the hundredth program and the first time we've been heckled yes. by the audience. <laughs> You, you look, look like, like a, a penis sausage. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, do you want to do, can you, can you, you probably can do some clever directoral thing just to disprove oh, the fact that I it. look, you know, can be done. Lucy, just to scotch the rumours <laughs> that I look anything like a six foot tall <laughs> penis sausage. Oh, look man. <laughs> nothing <laughs> like that. Somebody's got a new Twitter avatar. <laughs>
I'm, I'm always really freaked out by Megabus. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, it's not the, well, the weirdest thing in the world, the Megabus. Nothing against the bus service itself, but when you drive, like you drive a lot of time on the motorway going to gigs, like the back of the Megabus when you're driving along, like whatever, for those of you who haven't had the pleasure, right. that's, that, you can, there's times <laughs> you just get hypnotised by that weird... <laughs> There are many things I've observed. Firstly, why does that man have such large breasts? Yes. For <laughs> hours staring at that man's breasts, going, that is, that is the same. What kind of. Where can you go for one pound? I, I thought you'd have to come to mega bus. There's, there's you, an address I there. I'd have to put plus a 50p booking fee as if people are going to yeah. go, well, that's a rip off. <laughs> I'm dealing with this for the entire... In my ear, constantly, people are going, wear the hat, wear the hat, wear the hat, <laughs> wear the hat. <laughs> because, yeah, they gave me a yellow hat because they think I look like the Megabus guy. <laughs> 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 Thank you. That means that that man looks like a, a penis sausage. <laughs> <laughs> they should call it penissausage.com or something yeah. else is already called You're just penis. bringing this up to try and make everybody forget that you look like a penis sausage. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on here. Essential. You just look like a penis sausage in a yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I have lost ownership of the joke now. <laughs> Somebody's got else. another new Twitter it's avatar. <laughs> Christmas. Happy Christmas. This is the DVD your uncle bought you. Yeah. OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in a science documentary. But will they find a cure in time? The last hope for mankind lies with scientists here at the Laboratoire Garnier. <laughs> And as the sperm swim towards the eggs, it's hard not to think that I've ruined this fried breakfast. <laughs> I'm never again going to have a fried breakfast. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. When he walked into Shawshank, I knew he was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Have you got a wicked side? Then you're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Take two bottles into the shower. Not anymore, I've got a proper dildo. <laughs> With ABS, sat-nav and airbags, this may be the most advanced condom you ever buy. <laughs> cash for cash. Send us your cash in an envelope, and we'll send it back, minus commission. <laughs> Ash for cash. <laughs> Put your cremated relatives in an envelope. Got that bloated feeling. <laughs> My uncle had that, he was dead in a week. <laughs> Smash for cash! <laughs> right in, mashed potato <laughs> in an envelope! Why have we got barbecues at low, low prices? Because the summer's been shit and no one's bought them. <laughs> At the Dogs Trust, we never put down a healthy dog. But the minute one coughs, it's in the Thames. <laughs> Do you suffer from unsightly chest hair? Should have gone to peck shavers. <laughs> Lynx, come on, virgins, wash your cocks. <laughs> Breen. We work so he doesn't have to. 